Okay, this is um, for the, um, this is the, um, sorry, kind of cold out, um, the vacuum. If you look at this right here, underneath here, I don't know if you can see, I actually split that, but there's a, there's a, there's a connector right there. You got to start with right here. And that would split into two. One, if you follow this line here, this actually go into your um, transfer case. That line goes into a transfer case. The next line, which I up, I I made it bigger. It go to here. There, you're gonna see a split right down here. Okay, right on the, on top of that, and one line. Another, the bigger line, there's three actually, there's, there's a circle like this, and there's two on the side, that goes, that one goes down to there, the other one goes to here, this goes to uh, the reservoir, and this is the blazer, this is the newer, I mean the older one, the newer one, they hide them over here, so if you look on the side right here, you should see a little tube sticking out. That's what that is. And it's also a split right here. And that splits. That goes into, it's a harder, if you look at it, it's a harder um, vacuum tube. That goes into your compartment. That's your heater and stuff. So you would have to look at the, um, um, uh, the inside. There should be one, one there. And this here, you see this right here? That's actually a a reverse vacuum tube. Um, that would only allow to go one way. So and then it splits to here, if you noticed. So that line there, that extra line, just come to here and it splits into two. One goes into the reservoir and one go the other way. And if you notice, like I said, that's the that's a one way valve. Now, if you look over here. This line here comes through here, and I'm not sure, 100% sure, but this line here, you see that, comes on to here, and there's a, there's a, there's a connector there as well, okay, and there's another, this line, what does this one does, it actually go underneath the battery, so uh, that's your um, four wheel drive, okay. So it splits there, and then you would see one line, that line there, goes all the way down to there, and I'm going to go into it, and I'm going to go underneath the car, and I'll show you, I believe it comes to right up here somewhere, um, if you follow that line, you would see three of them, uh, it's too cold right now, but if you follow that line, you should see three of them, and I would um, give you the the diagram for that. Okay, so it's up here somewhere. You should see a two, three tubes, but that's what that one does. Okay, I'll draw a diagram and I'll add on to this. Okay, this is the uh, diagram that I was talking about. You're going to see this is in front of your car. And right in beside your uh, right-hand side, the driver's side, you will see a little, uh, a little plastic thing, um, a hole. That's the breather hole. Um, you will see both sides actually have the same thing, but one is for this and for your math sensor, I believe. Uh, there's a little switch there that actually uh, detect your math sensors as well. But for this here, that's your PCV, uh, PCV valve. Um, that you want it to be separate, okay? Because you want the P, you want more suction on that. The bigger tube, you will see uh, a little plastic thing that has a. Th uh, some actually only have two, and some actually have three. In this case, it's three. If you don't have that, um, they actually sell this at um, 
at the um, uh, auto store, uh, I believe it's only like $8, but it makes life a lot easier. Uh, how do I know that? I broke it. <laughs> uh, so I know, I know I did, uh, I made it into three. There were three things comes out and that is better. And I'll explain to you why. One, the big one goes to the PCV and you want the big one to go to PCV because um, you want a lot of moisture Moisture and, 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 and oil vapor to leave the engine. Okay, so that's important. Um, then you will see another small one come out. This, what I did is I reroute all this. So this goes into a reservoir. And if you notice an X, an X here is actually a one way stopper. That means it can only go this way. Everything. It goes this way okay it's getting sucked into the engine the engine use a vacuum to suck that in so that way it, it this would leads to the um, your your air so it's actually recirculating any exhaust stuff that's it um, not exhaust stuff, but oil vapor because the environment they don't want to put all these stuff out in the environment. The breather tube. Sort of like a breather tube on a lawnmower. So one-way valve only go this way. And that's very important. Make sure to have that one-way valve after. The one-way valve goes before these two. Okay. Because you want it to go this way. Just suck this way only. You don't want any oil vapor to go into your reservoir. Or inside of your car so that's very important make sure that it's there now the next one there'll be another tube come out here it's a long tube and it'll go into this thing here it sits by the transfer case and what that does is that one of them I'm not sure which one I haven't test this one out yet but I have to replace it soon so I probably will know um, that's the dormant um, it says Dorman 219 on it, okay, uh, and that's the num. that might be the number right there, or even this one here, okay, and I'll explain this, that line goes into one of these, and then there'll be two split line, one line would go all the way in the back of your, uh, a canister, um, the gas canister because remember this is part of an evaporated system because they don't want that vapor to go into the environment so they split that then one goes I believe it's right on your transfer case because one is keep sucking the other two is keep on getting through and I believe they use this if you notice there's that ball see that that's when it opens in and out and I believe when it's open I'm having sure I haven't tested that yet but anyway that's where that is I can't explain too much on that one because I'm not myself has not I know I know what they're doing they, they, they're just getting the line and imagine you, you the one is your evaporator and one is your transmission transmission during hot it will evaporate transmission fluid and then the other one is your um, is your vapor from your canister. What they did was the gas tank would go to the canister, and the canister cannot release that into the air. So whatever's left, I believe that's what they're sucking through one of them. So basically, they all sucking into this thing. Because remember, your big thing is right here. Um, sorry, trying to get the pen out. Um, your big thing is right here, your carburetor and everything, right here, your air. Okay, so let's put air. Get sucked into here and it recirculate and it reuse again. So the EPA probably forced them to put that in there. That's what basically is. So basically, the quickest way to understand it, everything gets sucked in and then just recirculate to here so it can be burned. Um, makes everybody happy, the environment is happy, and everybody else is happy. Okay? Now, 
There's another tube come through here, and I believe this work as an actuator. This only work, it only open. I believe it's an actuator here. And what happened is it opens when you press the button in, in, in your four-wheel drive. If you want four-wheel drive, it will release that, that actuator and let air come through. So then the air would suck. And air goes the same way. Because remember, this is tied into here. The air as well, okay? Everything ties into that air filter. Not air filter, but... Um, what you want to call it? The, 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 hmm. um, I can't think of, sorry. Um, the throttle body. Everything, you know, that big, big chamber. That actually, they made it that way so they can circulate the air. Whatever is there. Even your, um, uh, what did you call that? The, uh, uh, the exhaust, the exhaust, the extra exhaust, it sits right in the front here. I can't think of the of the name right now, but it sits in front here. And that also recirculate into this big chamber. So if you see that big chamber, that's all there is to, to that. Now when you, when, okay, let's get back to the 4x4. If you energize the 4x4 for four wheel drive, remember, the, 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 these things are, are the back wheel drive. When you energize a four-wheel drive, it actually actuates the front-wheel drive. So when that happens, it comes to here. Then it actuates an actuator. Now for the S10, for another one, the S10, there's another tube that breaks off from here. It goes into an, an evaporator system. Now... On a newer model, 96 and on, they are forced to put this in. It's called air recirculation. And there's a little fan here. And that fan actually would help during the, 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 the startup. This fan only comes on in the startup. So you have the 96 and older. You would see this, this tube, there's a tube, comes into that fan itself. But if anything older than that, you won't see this. Because remember, 1996 is where they change all this. They're forced to change um, this little fan here. And that fan created suction as well to, 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 to vary places. I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that one either. But I know there's a tube comes here from 96 on. Uh, for this one here, in the video here, it's actually 96. So they weren't, they didn't have this yet. So if you have older, you would see one line only to here. But if you have the other one, you have two. And again, you will see um, there is a, a one-way valve as well right here. Because they don't want anything to go backward. So as long as you remember that the air has to flow this way. As you can see all the thing here. And then the three line, all the air comes this way. The PCV, this PCV comes down this way, and then your vacuum, your internal vacuum, which is your heater, the flapper that makes the flap for the for the heater, it's working on a vacuum system. So those are just flaps only. If you if you if you look underneath your dashboard, you will see bunch of little actuators. The air actuator, they just suck. That's it. So let's say if you put it on. Um, uh, below, like we're below the the uh, the seats and stuff like that. Then one actuator would just suck in and opens and out. So that's all there is. So that line there, it goes into let's say your heater. This one is just a reservoir. Now, if you see in the vid this video here, you see the reservoir. It's hanging out. The S10 or the 96 on, I believe, or or. Um, I believe the S10 because this S10 is actually smaller, so they rerouted re on the on, on on the on the fender, which I actually mentioned that in the um, uh, in the video. But other than that, that's it. That's all I can tell you. So when you look at it, you will see this big thing underneath. Just lift up your air thing, your air tubes to your. Um, uh, uh, to your filter and stuff, you would see this big thing, some 
Like I said, some is actually only two. Just one coming out, big one coming, and there's a, a small one coming. And then they split this into here. I find it easier to go to the store and get the three one because then I can direct different ways. But that's just my thing. That's just what I like. But as far as I know so far, that's how this, this vacuum works. So I hope this video is helpful and I hope it helps somebody else as well because it was really hard and it is true that I cannot find uh, the 4.3 liter engine vacuum system uh, on the S10 Blazers and bunch of those um, uh, Chevy's um, anything with the 4.3 liters really uh, they use the same but anyway uh, only except for here um, for the evap system the the new evap system that they forced to put in um, uh, that force air that's that that fan uh, which I change it like two three times already and I don't like that fan and it costs like a hundred dollar but that's the only thing I did not like when they changed that but other than that this should be the the diagram here um, like I said right here you're gonna see a little little thing here and there's a splitter as well and it works with an actuator so really in reality when you switch that it, it this doesn't work whatsoever when you switch inside your compartment for the four-wheel drive this opens up and when that opens up it suck the air whatever from here through here so remember if you have an issue with this as well you can actually use that as well too but that's on that I've seen uh, that's how it's connected through here I've seen the S10 connected down to here uh, they reroute they split this into another one and they come out to here which I did not like uh, I thought that this is actually better but when they do that it's always on a system and then somehow the actuator actually helps it so I don't know if this is the, the line here evaporate I believe it goes into the um, um, not the transfer case but there's another tube uh, you would have to check that goes into right on top of your um, your transmission and the transmission fluid actually uh, there's, there's a tube there's another tube that comes up here too uh, and that's a breather transmission tube but the rest is just uh, suction so as far as I know that's how I know for this so anyway I'm gonna end the video and I hope this video is helpful